Hi guys, this is just a short tutorial on setting up X-Planes native VR support for super sampling. There seems to be some conflicting information on the internet about super sampling with Steam VR versus the Oculus Tray 2. Uh, I've been doing some experimenting with it and this is how I have mine set up. The first thing I do is open the Oculus Tray tool and set super sampling to zero. We're also going to ensure that super sampling is set to zero in Steam VR and we'll take it from there. So I'll open Steam VR and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are in Steam VR. If we bring up the settings menu, you see here I have the advanced settings. And if we go in there, we just want to check our Steam VR super sampling value and it is set to one. So now we won't have a conflict between the Oculus Tray tool and Steam VR. So we can go back out of that again. From the settings screen on the desktop, you can actually disable those advanced features altogether, which is probably a good option. Okay, now we're going to show you how to disable Oculus Home and set up your uh, super sampling in Oculus Tray 2. Okay, so now we just uh, right click on your Oculus uh, shortcut and open file location. It will bring us to this folder. Right click on the Oculus client and go to properties, uh, compatibility, run this program as administrator and click apply. What this will do is prevent Oculus Home from opening when you launch Xplane. Um, so you don't have both Oculus Home and Steam VR running at the same time. Okay, we're nearly there. Next is to set up the uh, super sampling in Oculus Tray 2. Okay, we've reopened the Oculus Tray tool here and uh, set your super sampling value to whatever you think you can uh, get away with. I'm running 1.6. And I'm also setting space warp to forced on, which is 45 FPS. Um, the visual HUD then, I'm enabling the pixel density overlay just to see if it's working. And I'll see you in the headset. Okay, here we are in Xplane 11, and you can see the pixel density is set to 1.6 in the HUD. So we'll uh, just start a quick flight here and check performance. Okay, I've changed the HUD now to display the performance details. You can see the frame rate. I've loaded up a quick flight here. This is the Bella Coola scenery from Betty X and the Dreamfile Creations AS350. So I'll take a quick little flight around here and check performance. So you can see the frame rate monitor there, it's locked at 45 and it's not dipping below it, which means I've no judder at all. It's, uh, it's completely smooth. The settings I'm using are quite high. I'll show you those in a moment. We'll just come back in and land now.
This is a fantastic helicopter from Dreamfoil Creations. It's uh, not updated yet to version 11, but there is a, a new version in the works for X-Plane 11. Okay, and we're down. As you can see, the frame rate is really constant. We'll have a quick look at settings. Okay, so you can see a visual effects set to uh, HDR, texture quality at maximum, and anti-aliasing at FXAA, and world objects at high, reflections at minimal. Um, that seems to be working quite well. I found if I had HDR disabled, and set it one notch lower that uh, I would difficulty with level of detail for autogen trees and things were disappearing in the distance but it's, uh, it's much better with it on. So I hope that's of uh, some use to some of you struggling with super sampling and uh, thanks very much for watching.